Is an asteroid really what killed the dinosaurs? Did the assassination of one man cause World War I? Was farming truly an improvement over foraging? Is the Earth flat? History is full of claims. Big ones, small ones. Some true, some a little more debatable. It's my job as an educator to help students make sense of what to believe and where to focus. And in an age of crazy news stories and internet memes, the sheer volume of claims out there are growing every day. That makes claim testing one of the most important tools you can help students learn. Sound more daunting than finding time for a bathroom break? Here's a powerful framework you can use to help students navigate their news feeds and history as we know it. There are four parts. One, intuition. Ask your students what their guts tell them. Just because something is surprising doesn't make it true. Number two, authority. Who's making the claim? Can your students trust them? Knowing the source of a claim is incredibly important, especially today. Number three, evidence. Teach your students to look for the specific details being provided to support the claim. Four, logic. Help them focus on whether or not the argument supporting the claim is clear. Intuition, authority, evidence, logic. A powerful framework for testing claims. And the same framework that's used in every unit of the Big History Project. The Big History Project is a supercharged social studies curriculum for middle school and high school students that spans 13.8 billion years of history. One of the most important skills you'll be teaching, claim testing. There's so much conflicting information we have to sift through these days. I love that I'm giving my kids the right tools to navigate through it all. My students use the claim testing skills I'm helping them develop with Big History Project in almost every single one of their classes. When reading, we want students looking for the major claim and the underlying approach to it. And when they're the ones writing, you bet they're using the language of claim testing. And let's talk about classroom discussion. I don't let my students simply disagree and say, no way. I ask them to say, hey, where's your evidence? It really helps make debates more academic and less personal. Intuition, authority, evidence and logic. A simple framework for claim testing. The very skill my class needs to really understand history and life. I think we all know a few adults who should be required to take the Big History Project, am I right? Join the 1,600 teachers and 80,000 students who are teaching and learning how to think critically with Big History Project right now. It's free, it's online, and it's helping us build some of the most important skills in our next generation of leaders. Go to bighistoryproject.com to learn more. I'm not kidding. Go, for the sake of humanity.